Hey guys, it's Wednesday. On Tuesday you did um, distributive property, the basics of it. Today we're going to the next step. We're going to factor using the distributive property. So we're going the other way. So come on over here. I'll give you an example again of what we did yesterday. A quick refresher. So we did something like 8 times a plus 7 in parentheses. Okay, so normally we know order of operations. You would do a plus 7 first. Well, we can't even really do that when we have variables because you can't add them. They're not like terms. But we can use the distributive property to do 8 times a, which is 8a, plus 8 times 7, which gives us 56. So that's using the distributive property. 8a plus 56 is the same as 8 plus 7 in parentheses, okay? Now today we're going the other way. So we're going to factor out. So we know we could factor 8 out of both of these. Divide them both by 8 because we just did it the other way. So if we divide this by 8, we get A. If we do 56 divided by 8, we get 7. And now we just took that 8 and we put it on the outside. See what happens? First we went this way. And then we undid it by dividing both by 8. So let's do this with this one, 35 plus 20. We have to come up with a number that we can factor out of both 35 and 20. So over here, my factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7, 35. We worked on that earlier in the year. You can go back and review that. Our factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Our GCF, our greatest common factor, well, our common factors are 1 and 5. That's it. So our GCF is 5. Okay, so we're going to divide 5 out of both of these. Okay, let's look at it up here with an example. Here I have 35 cents. Here I have 20 cents. So if I'm doing 35 cents plus 20 cents, I could just do 35 plus 20, which is 55. What I also could do, though, is I could divide 5 out of both of them. So 35 divided into 5s gives me 7 nickels. Plus, over here I had 20 cents divided into nickels is 4 nickels. So 35 divided by 5 was 7. 20 divided by 5 was 4. And we know they're each worth 5 cents. So that's what we have, 5 times 7 plus 4, 5 times 11, 5 times 11 is 55. That is the same answer as that, okay? This is very important when we get to algebra, being able to do this. Okay, so let's do your assignment for the day. Question one, there's only five on today, so really use this video to help. Use the distributive property to fill in the blanks below. Okay, so this was a review of yesterday. Eight times seven minus five. We can first do eight times seven. Minus eight times five. Okay, we don't have to solve it. That's all this problem asks. We could solve with this or this, but we don't need to. Question two, use the distributive property to fill in the blank below. 9 times 7 plus 9 times 1. Okay, so we're going to factor 9 to the outside, and then we have 7 plus 1 in parentheses. We factored that 9 out because 9 was in both of them. Question 3, use the distributive property to fill in the blanks below. 8 times 3 plus 8 times 7. 8 times 3 plus 8 times 7. So we're factoring out the 8s. So 8 times, here we have 8 times 3 plus 8 times 7. So we have 3 and 7 in there. We can always check our answer if we want to be sure. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 8 times 7 is 56. My answer should be 80. Over here, 3 plus 7 is 10. 8 times 10 is 80. 80 equals 80. They should always balance. Okay, question four. Kind of like what we did up here with the nickels. Find the greatest common factor of 24 and 15. Okay, so I can find all the factors of 24 and all the factors of 15. Or I can just think of which ones they both have in common. I'll go ahead and find all of them. There's a lot of them in 24. Let 
1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, 15, there aren't quite as many, 1 times 15, and 3 times 5, okay? My greatest one in common is 3. 3 is my greatest common factor, so my GCF is 3. Okay, so now I'm going to factor 3 out of 24, and 3 out of 15. I'm going to divide them both by 3, so since I divided them both by 3, 3 goes outside the parentheses. 24 divided by 3 is 8, minus 15 divided by 3 is 5. So my final answer is 3 times 8 minus 5. I could go ahead and solve that. 3 times 3 is 9. 24 minus 15 is 9. Same answer. Okay. One more like this. Factor. 4v minus 12. So what am I going to factor out of my greatest common factor of 4 and 12? I could work them out. My factors of 4 are 1, 2, or 4. My factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. The greatest common is 4, so I'm going to factor 4 out of both of these. I could have factored 2 out of both of them, but that's not the greatest common factor. Okay, so I'm going to do 4 on the outside times... 4v divided by 4 is just v, 1v. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, 4 times v minus 3. I don't have to put this times in. I can just put the 4 right next to the parentheses like we did yesterday. All right, that's your assignment today. Good luck with it. Remember, we have a Zoom at 11 if you want help with this, either a Zoom on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I'll be around to help you guys. All right, talk to you later.